So Firefox is a, it's a great web browser with plenty of add-ons to penetrate into web application servers. These add-ons are modules within the browser to help you find vulnerabilities, test web forms, and even run brute force SQL injection. And the add-ons serve as an additional function to web browser and is very important in using these add-ons as part of your arsenal and penetration testing. And today we'll be covering a few of these add-ons that can really help you penetrate much quicker. So as you can see over here, on the right side of the screen, we have the Metasploitable 2 running. And we'll be assessing this as a, some of demonstration of using the add-ons. So moving forward, we have the web developer add-on. And the web developer will add in a tab to your Firefox browser. So you will see an additional toolbar which allows you to manipulate web pages on the client side end. And one very important function as a hacker or penetration tester is to be able to disable client side security mechanism that comes in the form of JavaScript. So JavaScript are usually the first line of defense against web penetration attacks. And it can be used to validate forms before passing it into the web application server. So disabling JavaScript is your first step into allowing you to inject code into web application server. And we can also use the web developer to inspect forms before we begin throwing in certain codes into, into trying out what are some of the vulnerabilities within the forms. So over here, we're going to access one of the uh, one of the functions, one of the servers running in the 192.168.1.18. So we have the DVWA. And all you have to do is just right click on any forms and go to web developer, go to forms. And you'll be able to view the form information. So although we can view source, but it can be very tiring to scroll through the entire code of redundant data. So instead, it can help us properly display the important data that we need to perform injections. So it could be username, it could be password, and then we know what is the size of the form, we know how to how to play around with the form so that we can ultimately bypass the validation input from the form. And moving forward, there are also other functions that can help us get information on the web application server before initiating attack. So what we have to do is go under, go back to the web page, go to information, and click view response haters. So over here, we can see what is the server running and what is it powered by. So we can go and check out what is the vulnerabilities associated with this version of the web application server. And all this information will be very important to us to help us get the right information to work with to quicken the whole penetration attempt. Now let us move over to the next Firefox add-on that we can uh, use. So as you can see over here, we have the temper data add-on. So this is, this is what happens when we want to change data we're injecting into web application server after we bypass the JavaScript validation. So there can be certain requirements from the website to function properly through mandatory runs of JavaScript. And Firefox temper data can help us bypass this defense. So our newer version of uh, Firefox, you just hold the alternate button and go to access the temper data and a dialog box will pop up. And we just have to click start temper so that we can start tracking all the data that we're passing over the forms. So going back to DVWA, there is a username and password form, and we can enter anything that we want. Uh, but in, for this case, we can just enter admin as well as the password as password that is already supplied at the bottom of the, of the page. And then a pop-up will come up. Do you want to tamper with the data that's been submitted? So we click tamper. And at this juncture, we have already bypassed the client server security mechanism of JavaScript. You can add in any SQL injection, cross-site scripting, or the likes before you submit the data over to web application server. So over here on the input, we can try out any codes, any HTML code, any JavaScript code to see if the form is able to validate them properly or is it vulnerable to some of the, some of the standard vulnerabilities that we can use to exploit this particular form. So to, to move on 
another great Firefox add-on is the Firefox Foxy Proxy. So let's close the temper data first and move over to the Foxy Proxy add-on page. So all we have to do is just click on the Foxy Proxy button and we can see that uh, pop-up dialog will appear. appear. So a lot of time as a penetration tester, you'll be running certain proxies to help you control or manipulate data flow into the web application server. And Foxy Proxy is going to be the tool that help us route information into the proxy. So one example is if you're using Burp Suite, you actually can push all the data to Burp Suite and it can capture the, the structure of the form and be, be able to do a lot of automated attacks to the web application server. And these are all very useful tools for us to push data to other uh, and is another uh, attacking method or using other servers for attacks. Another great tool is the Firefox SQL Inject Me. So SQL injection is a very common method of attack and should be used throughout all web application server penetration tests. Most, if not all, application servers are linked to a backend database server running a SQL query. And many of these database systems hold many sensitive and confidential information. So in fact, the whole purpose of computer hacking is now driven by the capability to exfiltrate important data. So click alternate, click SQL inject me, and then just click on the tab and you'll be able to see, uh, you'll be able to inspect the web page you're on and you can do a lot of testing with automated pushing of attacks. So let's go back to the uh, SQL inject me and we're going to go back to the options. So this is the area where, okay, this is the area where we can see all the SQL injection attacks that can be placed in the add-on. You can see the list of SQL injection strings that the add-on already has in place to help you automate your web application attacks. If you're new to SQL injection, this is a part where you can actually learn about how to perform these attacks. The purpose is to be able to find forms that does not perform server-side input validation. As you can see from SQL injection strings, many of these code injections are simple SQL commands meant to bypass non-validated input forms. Okay, moving forward to, to another Firefox add-on is the Firefox Edit Cookie. Although to, to a less effective degree, editing cookies are still useful against some web application servers because of the lack of extensive cookie validation. Some penetration examples are if you have performed man-in-the-middle attack or man-in-the-browser attack, you can actually copy out a cookie of your victim. Once you have access to a cookie, you can simply replicate the data over to your own browser to gain authorized or privileged access to the application server. So click alternate, go to options, go to cookie editor. And over here, we can see the list of uh, cookies that are already available for this particular website. And I can change the, the filter by entering the, uh, the IP address of the virtual machine I'm running. And over here, you can see the cookie names at PHP session and security. So we can just open up one of the cookies. And over here, we can double click on any of the cookies that we want to edit. And we'll be able to change the values. In fact, there are still application servers running simple cookie setup through validation of cookie by its name. And changing the value of an attribute like name from John to Alex can potentially give you the access to an existing Alex user account. Other simple attributes like ID, security settings, role-based accesses, or other attributes can potentially be authorized through a cookie validation existing on your browser.